Hi everyone, it's Belinda. Welcome to another knitting video. It's been a while since I did a knitting video and I guess I have been pretty inspired lately or just been really into fiber and have collected some new yarns recently so I'm really excited to start working with them. I thought it would be fun to do a video. I have to drink today for Belinda's Knitting Cafe just water because I drank my cafe drink earlier and it is a bit later in the afternoon so I don't really want to get another drink yet. So I'm just gonna drink water and talk about some new yarns I have acquired and some ideas I guess I have for spring. Since now it's spring where I live we still have quite a bit of snow on the ground and it is getting warmer but I feel like I'm more in a winter cozy kind of knitting mood. Maybe the colors I'm working with are a bit more spring and we'll see if I come up with some more spring garments to knit. But even if I knit winter garments I feel like they will be in, done in time for me to wear them next season so a win is a win. So yes, let's start with my current work in progress I have here. It is the Great Gingham Raglan by Jessie Made Designs. And I am doing the sleeves at the same time. I have this amazing yarn. It is from Prosper Yarn and I went to Australia at the end of February. So I went to the store what was the store? The Maker Maker Store in Melbourne and I picked up some yarn I could take home and make stuff with. So this is Prosper Yarn in DK. This is their superwash base. This is their non-superwash. And I don't know if you can see it very well. But I am in love with these colors so much. This one has a little bit of the darker green, so that's why I thought the screen would be a nice like, contrast color. I don't know if you can see it. Um and so far, I think it's going pretty well. This is what it looks like. I'm doing both sleeves at the same time because when I was working on this sweater, which is the Rosa cardigan, and I knit this in um, La Bienemme's Boucle base. I knit the sweaters. I knit five, my, five sleeves for the sweater. I, yeah, five sleeves because my sleeves kept being uneven with the Boucle yarn. I was filming a vlog for this, so maybe I'll talk about it a little more if I put together the vlog. But it has just like a weird gauge and it was very hard to find a, like a consistent tension as well. So I would knit one sleeve and then I knit the other and they would just not match up. So then I knit the other and then it also did not knit match up and I ended up knitting two at the same time, which ended up matching finally and I could finish this. I also have my own buttons here. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but I made my own buttons with some polymer clay and it is a fun time. Anyways, that is why I'm knitting my sleeves at the same time because maybe I can avoid sleeve island. I usually don't have a sleeve island problem because I knit the sleeves before I finish the body. But hopefully this means that because it's my first color work, project I am a, was a little worried about um, making my tension consistent but because I'm doing both sleeves at the same time I think it'll be fairly similar and I've just been really enjoying working with this yarn and the colors I love I'm having a big green moment I absolutely love green so it's been a lot of fun to knit this I also really love pink so pink and green is just a great time knitting and the colorwork pattern isn't very difficult. I pretty much have it memorized now and I think it's going well. I want to hurry up and finish it so I can wear it. And it is a bit thick. Uh, I think the pattern calls for sport weight, but I ended up knitting in DK and I was able to get the gauge by going up a couple needle sizes as well. But uh, I think it'll be nice and I think the colors do remind me of spring with the pink and then the bright lively green so very excited about that also in Australia I picked up this yarn it is by Woolen Works so I have DK Merino which is this one a superwash merino 
Lend and I have their lace Surrey silk Lend which is 74% uh, baby Surrey alpaca and 26% silk the color away is me as a bird and I saw these on the shelf and I just had to have them I have maybe a sweaters worth of it and I'm not sure exactly what I'll make I'm thinking maybe cardigan because I've also been having a cardigan moment I think it's just kind of nice to be able to throw over um, when you're feeling a little chilly and maybe even like a collared cardigan but I'm not sure yet. Uh, because it's DK and Surrey, I'm thinking it'll end up being a worsted weight garment. So not exactly light, but I think it'll end up being very soft and pretty. I absolutely love the colors. I love blue and I love orange. And I'm excited for this one. Okay. Next, I got some Nutiden unspun yarn. I am not sure what this color is. I will put it here for you. But I am excited to work with Nutidin for the first time. I baked my yarn to try to like pest proof it and hopefully it'll be good. I've never had an issue with moths or anything. So I am excited. I knit a swatch because I was thinking of knitting the Flora sweater by Irene Lynn. So here's my swatch. Uh, it is held single and I don't know how I feel about it, I guess. And I think part of the challenge is like because holding single, it is a bit more fragile, especially for casting on. I think when I was knitting the swatch and doing the stockinette part, I didn't really have a problem with knitting. Um, the tension and the gauge is also, I think, kind of weird, but I don't know if it's just like me knitting, kind of, I don't know. I feel like in my latest projects, getting gauge has been a struggle, but also I realize I never use the suggested yarn and that's part of it. It's like I kind of prefer to see my yarn in person when I choose it out. And then the other part of it is yeah, so because I like to see it in person, we don't always have the yarns that they use that is suggested. And the other part of it is just, I don't know. They don't always use the yarns that I really like. So it, I just substitute a lot and then end up dissatisfied. So maybe I gotta actually use the suggested yarn. But I think this color is really pretty. It's just like a light pink. There's some variation and I love pink. So... We'll see what I decide to knit with this. I am not sure if I have to do more pattern research. I was thinking of doing a colorwork one by the Petite Knitter. I think I have the pattern already. Let me just find the name. The Height Sweater. I'll put the picture there. Uh, and it is a colorwork one with unspun, but I think in the pattern it calls for plotolope and terms of gauge i guess it is kind of close i need to find another color to hold with it though so we'll see i got 600 grams of this so i'm thinking i should be able to make two two garments i was also thinking about doing a cabled sweater with it so we'll see what i end up with the next my order from Camilla Fiberco came. I ordered their Winterberry pre-order and this is in a worsted, their organic merino worsted, non-superwash. And then I also got their merino Aran wool and this was like when I was thinking of all cable projects. So I really love cables, so that's what I'm thinking about it. It has a really, the Aran has uh, i think it's like an eight ply yes it's eight ply and then the worst it is four ply but the air eight ply aaron i think will be nice for cables and i don't know i just kind of been into the idea of like colorful cables so i'm not sure exactly what i will make with this yet i'm considering designing my own cabled garment because 
at this point i have done a couple of cable projects already so i don't know i also thought i would show you this yarn i got from moon drake co a while ago it is full full in sand and then blue slate uh, 70 percent brushed cashmere and 30 percent super wash merino i really wanted to knit with cashmere for this winter season and just try it out super soft i made not this yarn with a different cashmere yarn i made a sweater with it and it is really soft and so much fun to knit with i also got this cashmere 28 by pasquale to match this and put it together i made a swatch here you can see so i think it'll make a really nice worsted weight garment it is pretty drapey and it's super soft and originally i was going to make the snowy forest sweater with this but i think it was just too drapey for the look i was going for so i ended up using a different cashmere uh, yarn and now I gotta find something to do with this beautiful combination and then with this one I was thinking of making the rinoculus sweater but not it's not really like immediately on my to be knit list what do they call your to be knit list because I guess you know to be read to be read, to be read, TBR, to be knit. I don't know. It's not really on my immediate knitting list, so we'll see. Or maybe I'll end up using this yarn for something else in the future. And I think that is all for my yarn show. I will take a drink since it's a knitting cafe. I am really excited to see how my great gingham sweater turns out it's been a joy to knit and try to find projects for the other yarns because i don't know really what i want to make yet if you have any suggestions please let me know because you can always use more suggestions there's so many great patterns out there and one can't possibly find them all even if you look on ravelry for a very long time so I hope you enjoyed this video it's probably not gonna be super long and it was pretty much just yarn show and tell and a little projects on the way i am looking forward to a lot more knitting i haven't had much time to knit recently because my puppy has been taking up a lot of my time but i've been making slow progress on things and it's just kind of nice to do so I will wish you happy knitting, happy fiber arts, crochet, whatever you enjoy doing. And I will see you again soon. Bye.